saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came uh. and sat right next to me Your eyes, Stop. they glowed. This is a bag uh, called Downtown Blend from a coffee shop called Whistle Stop Coffee Shop over in Lee's Summit, Missouri. I went to go visit my buddy and his wife there and their brand new baby uh, this past week. And I just, you know, when I was flying back, the TSA wanted me to open up my bag of coffee, um, which is fine. All TSA makes you do that now. But the problem is, if it didn't have this tape, on it, which it came with. Um, this is not heat sealed. There's nothing in it. It's just kind of open. Uh, if it didn't have tape on it, then I would have no way of resealing it outside of trying to find a rubber band or some tape on my own. So that got me thinking, what is the best way to travel uh, with coffee? If you're going to another city and you want to try a different coffee shop and you want to bring home some beans or you're bringing beans from your hometown to family members in a different city, what is the best way to travel with coffee? And so I figured I would talk to you guys about that while trying this uh, downtown blend from Whistle Stop. I've got my whole Chemex set up. Uh, let's start grinding the beans and then let's talk about the best ways to travel with coffee. Almost, almost, and that's it. Can you see that steam? It is a cold morning today. But let's see how it tastes. So as this is brewing, um, one thing that I recommend taking with you if you plan on uh, bringing beans back home or you're home and you want to bring beans is something like this. Um, this stays in my car constantly. Uh, I don't usually take it with me to travel. This is, um, <laughs> this is actually a, a cup for drinking and it's got an airtight seal on it. If you can see it, it's got an airtight seal on it. Um, and something like this is perfect for transporting beans. Um, the only downside is if you have this in your suitcase, sometimes it can just pop open and then all of a sudden you've got beans all over your suitcase. And that's no fun. Nobody wants just beans everywhere. But the nice thing about something like this is that it is airtight. Um, and so what I would recommend if you wanted to do, for example, a drinking cup that is airtight, um, Cause you can keep them pretty clean. I'd probably get some tape or something just to tape over the top. Um, I've done that once or twice on a trip with this. And so that's what I would recommend for something like this. The key thing you want to remember is that whatever you have needs to be airtight. They do make some resealable like zipper bags um, that you could carry with you, but most coffee shops have a version like this. This specific one, like I said, had the tape, so I got lucky. But there are some coffee shops where it's a heat sealed, you seal it like this, and then to open it, you basically take scissors and you cut through it. Uh, and once you do that, that's it. There's not really a way to reseal it unless you've got tape nearby. So if you're going through the TSA and they want you to open up your coffee beans, they most likely will. That's how they work now. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have a backup if you don't know if the coffee shop that you're visiting has a resealable bag. Squeeze out the rest. Usually when I do that, it burns my hands, but it's so cold outside that my hands aren't really uh, being burned right now. This actually kind of feels nice. It's like a nice little, ow. Okay, that one hurt. 
Another benefit of one of these cups is you can use it to actually drink out of. I, being in the coffee world, carry my entire uh, Chemex pour over system with me like in my car. Let's say you're not even traveling across the country Let's say you're going to the next town over because your friend lives there and you want to bring them some coffee Well, if you pre measure out the amount of coffee beans that you need right you pre weigh them out You can carry them in one of these airtight sealed cups so that way you don't have to worry about I got to carry the bag I've got to carry a scale if you're into that uh, you've got to carry a grinder uh, and now an extra mug. You don't have to do that. Hmm. First initial, uh, it's nice. This is a very nice cup of coffee. It's definitely medium roasted. There's no harsh, like burned, kind of some deeper, darker tones to it. Does it say what it is? It doesn't. It just says downtown blend. <laughs> Cool. I mentioned a grinder. Um, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about ground coffee versus whole bean coffee. If you have whole beans, they are going to stay fresher longer. So I would always, always, always recommend, if you can, get whole bean, especially if you're traveling, and figure out how to grind it when you get there. A good rule of thumb is try to grind it as close to brewing as possible. So if you can bring it whole bean and you can grind it, like five minutes before you actually start brewing and pouring perfect if not as soon you know as close as that as you can get now let's say you're going to a different city and you don't know if you're going to like some of the coffee shops there um, and you, or, or you're in love with a coffee from home and that's just that's all you drink and that's you just support that one shop and first off that's great like everyone should find their home shop and like settle in and that should be their coffee you bring a whole bean bag of coffee to drink for the weekend of the week that you're there visiting but you open up your suitcase and whoops you forgot your grinder what do you do go to a local coffee shop ask them if they'll grind your coffee for you 90 Five percent of the coffee shops that I've been to uh, if I go in with coffee that is not theirs Even a roastery or a small little shop that buys from a roastery um, and I said hey I have this bag of coffee. Would you mind grinding it for me? I don't have a grinder They'll say yes, like we're all part of the same Coffee industry we want you to have good coffee and even though you may not be drinking, you know our coffee We want you to have good coffee like I I rarely go into a coffee shop and they're like, no, we have a policy where we can only grind our own beans. Um, usually you see that at bigger chains where their grinders are under warranty or there's some rules about if something goes wrong with their machine, the questions will be like, what kind of coffee did you put in it? And if they say, well, it wasn't even our coffee, it was someone else, you know, so there's just that. Little small local places, if you just Google local coffee shop or local roastery or something, um, and bring in your whole bean bag of coffee and just ask if they'll grind it for you, they will. Well, the question comes up, well, isn't that kind of mooching off of them? Buy yourself a cup of coffee, at least try their coffee because that's why they're in business, they want you to try their coffee. Buying a cup of coffee from a small little shop is the biggest thank you that you can do uh, for them grinding your bean. And who knows, maybe their coffee is really, really good and you're only there for a week uh, and so you can just go to that shop and drink their coffee in your bag of beans because it's whole bean will still last uh, over a month because it's medium roasted and it's a nice whole bean bag of coffee airtight that you can just keep that in your suitcase, bring it back home and it's not gonna lose any flavor really. So that's what I'd suggest. To recap, get an airtight container for sure. Um, travel with whole bean if you can. And if you get to where you're going, with your whole bean coffee and you don't have a grinder, find a local shop and just ask them to grind it for you. They will, they're fine with that. Buy a cup of coffee as a thank you uh, and then be on your merry way. So I'm going to continue drinking my coffee. I'm gonna continue to enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the morning as the sun is coming up. And uh, lease or uh, whistle stop, if for some reason you see this video, I'm coming back for Thanksgiving. So, um, free cup of coffee? I'm kidding, but I do really enjoy your downtown blend. Um, so if you are watching Whistle Stop Coffee Shop in Lee Summit, um, what should I try next? Because I'm gonna be back for a week and I want to buy a bag of coffee 
and drink that with Zach at home. So downtown blend, great, love it. What else you got? Throw it at me. That's all I got, everybody. I'll talk to you later.